Okay, what's up guys? So check out this scene. You can see it looks okay. And a lot of times what you can do is you can throw in a quick volume, principal volume shader and then make the scene better. But what I'm gonna do is show you how to create a even better volume shader with a couple of extra nodes. And this is probably the best way to create a fog, moody, misty kind of shader. And it'll work for all your scenes. So, so I'm gonna go yeah. Let's enable this. So first thing you want to do is create a cube. So shift A, mesh, cube, then S. Scale it up. Make sure it covers the whole scene like that. Then what you want to do is go here. Yeah, go to viewport display. We can go to display as. Go to wire. So now we can actually see inside the scene. Okay, then what you want to do is go out of shading. Okay, and then hit with the cube selected, hit new, bring this up. Then what you want to do is click on principal PSDF, delete it, then go shift A, type in volume, add a principal volume node. And then normally what you do is you just plug this in here, change this, but what I'm going to do is show you how to improve this. So let's plug this in. Change the density to about 0 0.05. Okay. And then later on, what once you've created all the other nodes, you can adjust this. But what you want to do is bring the anisotropy up somewhere like that. Then what you want to do is go Shift A, type in Mix, add a mix shader, plug that in there. Now what I'm going to do is just bring this so we can start to see. What is happening? That really looks decent, but we'll fix it, make it even better. Then what you want to do is go Shift A, type in volume, and add a volume scatter node. Let's do this, do this, plug that in there, then bring this here. Then go Shift A, type in noise, add a noise texture, and then bring the color, plug it into density. Then what you want to do is click on noise texture, hit Control T, and that just enables the node wrangler add-on. If you don't have it, just go your edit, preferences, type in node, and enable this, and then just hit Control T. Then what you want to do is bring this out here, go Shift A, type in color, add a color ramp over here, and this will allow us to control The volume you can see how much nicer that looks we can play around with that we can also play around with you can see how nice it is gives us much better control and then you can just play around with the white as well just find something that you like i actually kind of like it all the way to the right and then you can change this bring this also down can see that changes this change like a gray or you can leave it and then what you want to do is bring this detail up it's so maybe like 10 doesn't make much of a difference but you can change it to however you want and then you can always play around with the density so let's go 0 0.1 and then this just gives you a lot more control where as opposed to this straight one node so what i'll do is i'll leave this cube with the volume for patrons so if you're a member you can download this for free and then just import it into your scenes without having to create it but if you want to create it go ahead and yeah make sure you subscribe